Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me once more again to one of my episodes. Now we're going to change the name. I've thought about it. Uh, for example, this is going to be the first one where I'm not going to use the intro that says Metal with Nick because I don't want to make it too difficult for people to choose the music. I mean, I, jo I, don't, I don't want to just cover metal. To all the metal fans, look, I'm wearing a Metallica shirt. So if you are requesting a metal song, you can do that. I think I'm I think I've chosen it's gonna just gonna be called Music with Nick. So if you wanna like do reggae or metal or jazz or fusion or whatever you want, whatever any kind of rock genre, metal genre, from death metal all the way to Beethoven, doesn't matter. That's what I want to do. I don't want to make this a limited thing. So I, I'm going to start here with this marathon. Now, this marathon is for a very special person, a great supporter and great friend as well uh, of the channels. He's always been very supportive. And I wanted to show you something before we start with this amazing marathon. Um, uh, we're talking about Mark Alexander here. So Mr. Alexander has helped us even um, privately, Alex and I, he has taken his time to just talk to us. He's a great speaker. He helps people um, in, uh, uh, for example, all types of businesses, you know, really like um, businesses that are really, that have really, how would I say, I don't want to like mess this up, but just like he speaks like Silicon Valley, um, people that work there, he takes his time and goes there and, you know, gets them going. And you, it's just like a very positive way of thinking. And that's basically what, what he teaches other people to think positively and more efficiently for success. Now, I also wanted to present before I start, I'm not getting paid by Mark to do this. Um, so, but I just, I will do it anyways. Look, look at these beautiful books here, uh, creating your life. Very beautiful. Um, they're not too complex. This is written very, um, easy to understand for anyone. You don't have to be a professor or, uh, you know, you don't have to have some kind of like, uh, you know, master degree to understand this. this is very simple. Uh, Money and Wealth, another book, see? Very easy to read. You can read this, you know, in one sitting and it might change your life. Sex and Romance, very important, very important. Sex and Romance, I mean, this is going to help you a lot. Mozart, and great music. I mean, who was the who was greater than Mozart? I don't know. You know, I mean, Beethoven and Bach, I love them, Chopin and Vivaldi, but Mozart was Mozart, you know, a good old Amadeus. And we even have a handbook here. This is all stuff that he sent us, and this is amazing. Um, look, handbook for the advanced souls, even more spiritual and even more spiritual here by Mark Alexander. So he's a wonderful human being, a very happy man, happily married, just like me and Alexia. And, you know, I just want to, you know, encourage people who suffer, who might suffer from, from things. Maybe you are struggling with, with, with money or with romance, or, you know, maybe your sex life is not spicy, uh, how it could, how maybe you could spice it up a little bit. So I encourage you to look at these books. I'm going to leave a description below in the bar, in the, uh, in the, in the, in the description, uh, where you can purchase these books or maybe get in touch with Mark so you can talk to him and maybe he can ha really help you. You know, this is all about, um, I want this channel to be about, you know, you come here, you listen to music, so you feel good. So maybe you can even feel better. Um, if you, you know, take a time and have a session with Mark, think about it, you know, it's just, uh, it's just an idea. I'm making this marathon for him and I really wanted to present him to you a little bit as much as as little as I can uh, with these books at least you know so take a look okay if you want to nobody no pressure and um, when this is not a sales pitch this is just one friend to the other I'm just doing this out of pure, pure love to Mark so 
Now down to business. Now, Mr. Um, Alexander wanted to uh, me to do a Steve Morris marathon, which I'm so excited about. Steve Morris has always been an important figure. I have seen him play for um, uh, different in different vi videos that I've seen. Um, I think I don't know if he was in a G3. I think maybe not, but I know he played in Kansas. And I know he played in Deep Purple, and he's just an amazing guitar player. He's actually uh, friends. He was friends with the um, l great and late Alan Holdsworth. I'm going to try and put a picture right here if I don't forget, because there's a picture. You can see Alan Holdsworth playing, and Steve Morse is looking at him like, what are you doing? <laughs> Literally, um, the expression on his face is just like, just like John McLaughlin said, um, he said, uh, if I knew what Alan Holdsworth is doing, I would steal it. But um, yeah, basically, <laughs> he was super honest. I would literally steal it and do it myself. But uh, nobody has been really able to figure out what the hell he was doing. It was just amazing. And it was just otherworldly. And that's why I'm going to keep on doing Alan Holdsworth videos, of course, as well. So, okay, so the um, we're going to do first the first song that uh, Mr. Alexander or Mark requested is not on Spotify. So I'm going to pull the YouTube link. I chose the best quality. Um, and this one is going to, this is called Cruise Missile. Um, it doesn't really say what album this is from. I mean, what year this is from, but I'm just gonna, I'm sure it's one of the first ones because it's not on Spotify and he looks super young on here. I like his little mustache. He just looks like maybe 20, 25 years old. Um, so the great Steve Moore. So we're going to go with that first and then we're going to dive into the marathon Full blast, full blast, because I only had the live in Germany 1990 version and I wanted to listen to the studio one and I'm sure he wanted me to listen to that. First, we're going to go to uh, the Steve Moore's band Structural Damage. Um, this is now Steve Moore's band um, from 1995. Oh, I'm surprised I can read this without my glasses. Then Stress Fest. This is from 1996, just a year later, um, from the album Stress Fest. Now, Live to Ride is also from Stress Fest, same year. And then we're going to do Great Mountain Spirits. And this is uh, from Split Decision. This is 2002. And there's a whole, there's a, we have Steve Morris, Dave LaRue, and Van Romain also in the lineup awesome i can't wait to do this i'm gonna now the thing is uh it, it happened to me with a uh, the, my last marathon that i did for narvik since i was like so uh, immersed i never paused so i got in trouble with the law <laughs> i'm just kidding well with the record company and they put they basically blocked the marathon so i had to like dispute it because i'm like hey i'm making a reaction video i'm using fair use here which is you know, fair use uh, supposedly works. Now ask, um, you know, a good friend. What's his name? Um, my memory is not the best, but uh, a guy that makes a lot of great content musically. I'll post it also in the description. Um, Rick Beato. Rick Beato just made a video and he was super. Well, he was not very happy because he said fair use, like what the hell? Like he was, I think his video was demonetized. Like now all my, sorry, all the videos that I post are demonetized because I'm using audio from, uh, so I'm not making any money on the, on the, on the video per se, only the request that's being paid me to do. Um, that's it. And uh, of course our Patreon, but the videos, if it's not my original content, like the lives or the little videos we post, we don't, we don't make any money. So he basically makes his own video. He's not using any 
like audio from another source, but maybe he plays something because he's explaining music. He's a teacher, music theory. And he got anyways, uh, he got his video blog. So now that would also piss me off. So now, okay, so I've been blabbering for about 10 minutes. You obviously you can also, you know, fast forward and skip all this, but it's always nice to talk about the person requesting. Now, if you want to request one of these videos, you can do so in the description below. It's going to say, buy me a coffee. Um, it's uh, And it's going to take you where it says music with Nick. Or once I do the ones with Alexia, they're going to be, they're going to open pretty soon. And then we're going to do double um, requests again, as long as Alexia can. I'm not, I can't really promise you how long she can hold up. Um, okay. But, Without further ado, let's start. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out a lot. And, um, and uh, well, again, thank you so much, Mark, for this request. And here we go. Cruise Missile. And here we go. Yes. <laughs> Nice. See, for example, is blues. So, so the, the metal name doesn't really fit.
guitar playing together. Nice. This was great. This was awesome. Very cool. Very boogie. I lo I love that it was felt like a um maybe boogie. Yeah, like almost like it was very like very like oh man. How would I? How could I explain it? Maybe it's not called boogie, but yeah, it felt a little bit like swing. It felt jazzy, but it, it has distortion, but the bass was completely jazz. I mean, and then when they were doing that, their, their, um, you know, um, uh, the duel, the guitar and the bass together in harmony, that was beautiful. Just a great track. I'm sure he was really young here, but what a guy to replace, uh, you know, Richie Blackmore in Deep Purple. And also to be a hired gun in Kansas, a beautiful player. I mean, I mean, just great. So okay, so now I'm gonna take off the 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 YouTube. Now it's sound, it's gonna sound a little bit better. Now I just wanna give a shout out to a very specific guy who, for for, for I don't know for what reason he did this, but basically what he says is that I look like a constipated man <laughs> when I listen to music. I guess I have to take it as a, um, as a, you know, like a compliment. Because if you listen to music and you don't make faces, then you're not listening. You're not listening correctly. I mean, look at Alexis. She makes faces when she listens to music. And then he also said, let me read this for you. Okay, so this is from our famous Mr. Stephen Keane with a double E. Uh, K, with a K for K. K um, let's, call, let's call him K for um, Karen. For a Karen, okay? Um, it says... Uh, he said, he literally said this because when I asked, like, is it too much metal? He says, um, it's not the metal that switches me off. It's the endless face gurning as if he, like, he can't even say Nick, as, as if he's hadn't had a dump in a month. <laughs> okay. And then, and the air instrument, the air instrument charades. Really? Like, um, uh, Steven, have you ever seen me play guitar? Like, because I, like, these are not here for show. These are not props. These are actual instruments. And I think as a guitar player, it gives me certain pleasure when I air guitar. And the face gurning as well. So I'm so sorry if that turns you off, but I hope you have a great, you have, I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, and if not, then not i mean it's just i think it's so sad for somebody who writes something so i mean he meant it not in a he made he put a smiley face on there but he didn't mean it he, he was just being sarcastic with the smiley face and it's just sad because um i'm not gonna change my style you know for no one and i'm gonna make faces i'm gonna play air guitar and I'm sure everybody loves that stuff because it's just hilarious. When I look at the videos, I just laugh because I'm like, oh my God, Nick. But I mean, it, it, it's a pleasure for me 
when I hear a sax or a solo, I just have to, you know, make a... I mean, every great guitarist that you see, Steve Vai, makes the most hilarious face. I love him to death. If you would just stand there like a candle, how boring. I just wanted to get that out there. Um, he, I actually pinned his comment so everybody could comment uh, behind him uh, uh, under that beautiful photo where Alexa's like, like that. Um, if you want to, I see there's some stuff been going on. Now, I don't want to bash him, but it's just ridiculous. So, okay. Now, putting that aside, I just wanted to get it out there because I just found it hilarious. And I just wanted to mention it because it is just like, I feel bad for the guy. Like, why would he not, like, why would he say something so, I mean... It's not offensive, but it's just like, come on, man. We're all friends here. We're all here to enjoy music. And you have to really say that? That's so like, come on. It's sad, you know? Um, okay. Now we're going to go with Good To Go. And I'm going to do an extra air guitar if it comes up. And I'm also extra um, phase gurning or whatever he meant by that. Um, and then, uh, okay. So here we go with the second track. Thank you. Look, that's the difference about Spotify. Can you see, uh, can you listen to the difference? That's why we use Spotify Premium to give you the best audio possible. This is like, it sounds like double the quality. Let's start over. Beautiful. One thing I can definitely hear here is that John, John Petrucci from Dream Theater, School of Steve Morris. 
people that picking is exactly the same it's exactly the same technique it's that alternate picking with a metronome no other way it's this is with a, this is studying with a metronome that's what it does i love all the techniques he's been doing palm muting pinching pinch harmonics very fluent scales he's just beautiful how he like goes in and out of these like scales very very soft and then I also listen it sounded a little bit like Pat Metheny the whole structure is very jazzy very 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 fusion I love it love it to death um what a great player thank you Mark you know um I have to pay more attention and I have to watch that DVD that I got um but yeah this is this is beautiful thank you Okay, so it's gonna we're gonna go now to live to ride. Uh, oh no 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 wait, stress fest from the album stress fest. This was a great tune. I had man, what a versatile player. There is, I mean, you can't he can play basically anything: metal, rock, blues, jazz, fusion. He's the full package. Um, great great stuff. I mean just listening to everything is so good i would put him right there with eric johnson you know um yeah i think so greg howe eric johnson um i mean there's so many players a good name it's just gonna i'm just gonna take your time let's go to the next um uh song stress fest here we go some good musicians.
crazy. I'm even getting like a little bit of a country vibe here. Don't I mean it is. It is what it is. Um very cool though. Very cool. This is how how country music should sound like. Let's go ahead. <laughs> you I'll, I'll dare you to dance to this one all you dancers out there try it it's, it would be fun i mean this is almost like you know i had a little bit of a, like a vibe like that so great okay we're get we're getting to our um no, this is not this one. And then we have the last one. This is Live to Ride. Let's see from the same same album, Stress Fest. Here we go. This was a great track right now. Um, Stress Fest. I actually was very <laughs> relaxed in this track. So cool. So thank you. Let's go. <laughs>
concern. great guys uh, all the frank marino fans out there i'm gonna try and make you uh everybody who clicked on that video and he they were super surprised i'm gonna try and put something in the description like frank marino fans listen to this because it's almost like maybe steve can play as aggressively but he doesn't i think he uses speed for drum for drama which is very important it can be very dramatic when you play slow and then it, it, it causes effect of like wow you know it can be very it, it, it's used as a tool and frank marino is more that's more his style to be very quick and very fast which is very very cool in that uh blues world you know so here it's more like a i feel again that boogie kind of like vibe and, and it's and it reminds me a little bit of joe, joe satrani because there's this song called um i don't know what it's called but it goes like bam 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 ba -da -dum, bam bam ba -da -dum, bam 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 so i get a little bit of a vibe of this right here um i'm sure uh, they're not copying each other. That's ridiculous. They're super good friends. Uh, but I mean, I just feel that little vibe here. Super, super fun. I love all the interplay between the bass player and him. Wonderful. It just sounds great. And um, professionals, you know, that's what we have here. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark, for, for uh, you know, sitting my butt down. And, and, and this is so enjoyable. Thank you. Truly. <laughs> Wonderful. 
We have a little fade out here. Wonderful, beautiful. So now we're going to play the last one. And this is... I just was switching around here. This is called The Great Mountain Spirit from Split Decision. This is the the basically not the newest, but the newest I've heard. 2002. Really cool cover art. Um, I love it. Um, here we go. Ooh, nice. Very different. More a tribal here. We have a jungle feel. Definitely gives me an oriental feel. It's um, it's like it's in the uh, it's like a Japanese scale. Um, that's what he's doing. Really cool. I mean, goes super well with Great Mountain Spirit. I mean, you could be somewhere in Japan, you know, um, and this is what you could hear, like in a movie, a score. Really cool. Really different. I have the boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. Really cool.
definitely sounded like something out of a, you know, samurai movie or something. Uh, you know, I just had the feeling of that. Maybe let me know what you think. Um, so this, that's it. That that's for the marathon of, of Steve Morris. This was great. Thank you, Mark. Wonderful music. Every single song had something completely different, was special and entertaining, and it's just a great musician. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think in the comments section. I love your comments, um, as long as they don't say that I'm taking a dump while I'm listening. <laughs> I just had to laugh so much. I mean, I was like, really? Um, but um, <laughs> yeah, um, guys, I just love, um, I love this. Um, I love, you know, playing air guitar for you guys. And um, I had so much fun the other day. And even um, Michelle, when I did the, the Pat Metheny one, and she even said like, dude, you're like, literally, it looks literally like you're playing along. And that's how I felt. And when I, when I, you know, when I play air guitar, it gives me such a pleasure. Because for me, playing guitar gives me a high it's it, it gives me so much pleasure um so when i hear something and i kind of know wh where they are right when you hear the music and you have been playing uh for a longer time then you know where they are in the neck so you can kind of you know you know play along a little bit so it's it's all i love to do it and i know it might look weird but if it turns you off, you have to you have to find yourself another channel. I'm sorry. But thank you so much, Mark, for this. This was awesome. Like I said, every song was super unique and special. So much information, so much great um, technique and, and feeling and, and, and everything. So well put together. I love how he l lets his musicians, you know, uh also shine especially the bass player now the drums were also always very great and i'm sure he uses a lot of great musicians but i mean him his relationship with him uh, his guitar and the bass is very strong i can just feel that so i'm gonna show these tracks to alexia of course and then maybe we can do some steve morse together in the future uh once she feels a little bit better i think um uh requests are coming of us together and uh, because i do miss her i do miss her um it's just not the same you know i mean i maybe i get to talk a little bit more but i like her to talk because she's the one who is super new to all this like i i when i hear this i can kind of like say yes it reminds me of this and petrucci here and joe Satrani there but for her it's like a completely new experience so i do miss her um, but we'll we'll get her. We'll get her eventually. But in the meantime, I'm having a blast. Thank you so much for the support. You know, with these requests, they really keep the channel afloat. And uh, also the Patreon and everything. Thank you so much, Mark, for, for all you do for the channel, how you talk to us, how you write us emails, how you just say hi, you know. It's it's so lovely and, and I really appreciate it. So thank you again. Guys, everybody else in the chat, um, in the chat, in the ch on the channel, thank you for listening. I hope you had a great time. Let me know in the comment section what you felt. Have you heard him before? Was this your first time? Let me know, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. <laughs>